March 3rd, 2011 will forever have changed our lives. But prior to that date, we were this happy, healthy family. Kids doing well, everything going well in life. But then on that date, we were told that Jesse had cancer. The most devastating news that my wife and I have ever heard. Jesse was outpatient. There was no cure for her disease. Um, so every day we'd go up, she'd have radiation, chemotherapy, and we'd drive her home. Two weeks into her treatment, she asked me a simple question. She said, Dad, when do all the other children come home? And telling her that, honey, there's lots and lots of children that have different diagnosis than you do. Some stay days, some stay weeks, some stay years. And so the next words out of her mouth have literally changed the tapestry of our lives because she simply said, how can we help them? So we came home. She decided to get some uh, brown paper lunch bags and start making some decorating them and stuffing them with her beanie babies and stuff. And I remember asking her, what are you doing? She said, I really want to help these children. And Jesse's middle name was Joy. And Joy and Jars just kind of went together. And so she loved the name Joy Jars. And it's a 64 ounce jar filled with activities and books and goodies and all kinds of um, fun things to help children that are in the hospital. And so during her 10 month and two day fight, she actually filled over 3,000 of those um, starting in our home. We've now moved to an official Joy Factory building where all the Joy gets stuffed on a daily basis. After Jesse's uh, celebration of life service, somebody approached me and said, you should really consider sharing this story with the masses because it's a powerful story. It's a powerful story that will leave you encouraged. It will leave you hopeful and it will leave you joyful. And that is what I'm so excited to pass on so people can make their world better, make their day better. And at the end of the day, live with this hope um, that is just so powerful when you embrace it and believe in it.